Okay, a lot of people have wanted to know how all the levers and controls work on the scraper. So let's uh, run through the loading process and how we hook up and load. And then I'll show you how the diff lock, uh, trans hold, uh, the hitch lock down, the bell control, uh, the, and the uh, neutral run switch work and operate on a set of push-pull scrapers. So you'll notice I'm coming up here slow. I'm going to... Uh, be very careful as I approach him and, and engage the push block. Uh, I'm going to lock down my bell control now, and that will put down pressure on my bell. Uh, one of the things about push-pull loading is you can't pump load the front scraper because that stinger goes up and down on that push block, and if you raise those wheels off the ground, you can run that stinger through the radiator. So. I'm going to carefully take the slack out and start loading myself. Uh, one of the things you'll notice in this is that I go all the way to the end with my load. I probably didn't have to do that, but I just kept us moving. Uh, one of the reasons I went all the way to the end is I didn't want to leave a great big blob of trailings right in the middle of where we're loading. So I went ahead and let him pull me all the way to the end. And in the next clip, You'll see when we come back, I'll be loading the other way, and you'll see how I load and why I leave that pile of trailings at the end uh, instead of the middle. You want to keep your cut smooth so you're not banging around, especially when you're pushing the front scraper. So I've got up pressure on my hook now. I've raised the control lever. As soon as I accelerate forward, it unlocks. I hurry and turn to the right. That tells him I'm unhooked, and away we go and uh, down the hall road. Okay, now we're coming back. I'm in front, we're loading the other way. As you can see, the trailings are clear at the end here, so I can pick them up easy. Those are loose dirt, they don't load well. But if you notice, uh, I never load in the same place. You never wanna do that with a scraper. I like to leave four to five feet between where we've loaded before so I can center line that. It makes them load a lot better. We use drop center cutting edges, and that also helps you load better, especially in hard material. So here I'm coming in to load. I turn on the neutral run switch, shift down to second gear, uh, getting ready to load, raise the apron. Now I'm gonna drop the hitch. That's the lever right there by the seat. You watch me reach over and push that down one notch and that will uh, lower the hitch and lock it down, the cushion hitch, there we go. Now I'm lowering the can, keeping my speed up, keeping it consistent so he can engage me. Uh, that's really important, you don't want to be uh, changing your speed quick. So here he's starting to get on to me and I'm lowering the can in the ground, got him floored. Here he is, he makes contact with me, and he goes full throttle. Okay, next we're going to watch as I run the bowl control lever. Like I said, you want to keep moving. We load in second gear, and you're hauling the mail. You want to keep your speed up. When you pull your speed down and spin, you're not going to load. Now you'll see the apron up. You don't want it too thick far open or the material spills out and it doesn't load and you don't want it too far down or it can't get the material in. So now I'm raising. Watch me watch me push that lever. Did you see me on the bolt control lever at the top? Did you see me uh, push the lever forward and that made the apron lever push out? That's an air operated single lever bowl control. So uh, as I'm raising the bowl, I've got that pushed all the way forward. Now it's not going to it's not going to close the apron while I'm lifting the bowl. Uh, lifting the bowl has priority. So what I'll do as soon as I get the bowl up a little bit, I'll go back to neutral with the bowl control lever, but I'll have that top part of the lever still pushed forward. 
and you'll notice that the apron control lever is still out and then as soon as I let go of the lever it will return to neutral and there it goes back to neutral now I'm pulling Jake and so got plenty of time to think now <laughs> So he takes the slack out of the hook very carefully and starts his loading. I just kept the front scraper floored the whole time during that to uh, maintain my speed consistently so uh, he could take the slack out. Okay, now he's about done loading and he's, he's raised his control lever. As soon as he pulls ahead, bail up, he'll turn to the right. That way I know he's clear and we can start to upshift. Okay, in this next clip, you're going to watch the fancy footwork. Coming into the cut, got the front motor going, reach over, floor the rear one, step on the diff lock. Uh, that locks the tractor wheels together. Uh, I'm loading with the diff lock on, both of the engines floored. And like I say, you got to be aware of your speed and keep your speed up. Okay, I've closed, I'm closing the apron. Now I've picked up the hitch. I've raised the hitch. Some guys do, some guys don't. They wait till they're fully loaded. I raise it after I'm loaded. All right, now we're going to go uh, watch. See, I've taken my foot off the uh, trans hold or the diff lock. I'm going to reach over and step on the trans hold pedal. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to pull the shift lever up into sixth gear. And as soon as Jake is unhooked, I'm going to let go of the trans hold le uh, pedal and it's going to start to upshift. There we go. Now I'm upshifting. I get up to speed. I'm going to reach up, turn the run, the neutral run switch to neutral, let go of the rear throttle and continue to accelerate. Flip the switch off, you see the light flash red. Now, one of the things you want to notice is that that is called the synchronization light. If that light comes on, your rear transmission is not in sync with your front transmission, and it will uh, kill the oil pressure in the rear transmission so that no clutches can engage. And so it's a safety device. And so next you're going to watch me. I start to climb a hill up to where I'm going to dump, so I just step on the rear throttle all the way, reach over and click the neutral run switch down. The light will flash, it will synchronize the front and rear transmissions, and uh, away we go. Okay, now you're going to see me dump. So we're dumping with the bowl all the way up. I raise the apron a little, pull the ejector lever until we're all the way to the end. And I'll run it back a little and then forward to get the last dribbles out of it. And there we go. That's how you run it.